Hey guys, it's Katie and welcome to another weekly reading vlog where I will do a vlog style letting you know what I'm reading and how I'm doing like throughout the week. It gives you a little insight of what I get up to as well like with work and what I'm doing around the house and stuff and that sort of thing. So today, Monday, it's my day off of work and that simply means that I can do whatever I want because I don't really have any plans to do. My nan's coming back at lunchtime today from my uncle's. She hasn't been here s since like Thursday or Friday, one of those sort of days. So she hasn't been here in a few days. It's been a bit weird and quiet without her, but kind of nice if I'd like to admit. And it gives me a chance to be a little bit independent, like the taste of independency for when I move out. Um, so really my aim today is just to chill because all I want to do is just read. I'm in the reading mood. So I've got my Kindle. I started I Houdini by Lynn Reed Banks during the Biennial Bibliothon. So I would like to finish that. It's a very, very short book. And then I want to start this book here, which is Sweet Thing by Rene Carlino. This goes towards my challenge of reading a new adult novel for the month. And I haven't read a new adult in a while, so I thought, why not select that book? Um, yeah, really excited to dive into it. Uh, and that's really all I've got plans for today. Um, it might all change like it sometimes does. I intend to read and then it doesn't happen. Hey guys, so today is Tuesday and I'm here to update you on my reading. So yesterday I managed to finish I Houdini by Lynn Reed Banks, which was pretty cool. It's a interesting sort of middle grade book, um, which I haven't read a middle grade in a while, but the kid side of my body like really enjoyed it so yeah and it was a really really short story anyway as it was so I think I gave it like four stars um, and then I was laying in bed and I was like I need to get to, to sleep um, and I was like I'm not turning on the TV because the TV does not help me whatsoever so I started reading a little bit of Sweet Thing by Rene Carlino which is my new adult challenge so I haven't read much I'm literally on page 12 and I haven't been able to do any reading today because I've been at work and I've been in charge at work today running a shift um, and as far as shifts go it wasn't a bad one but always at the end of the day whenever I'm in charge like my head feels like it's just full of sawdust because of just how the day goes like I'm trying to be organized with my little OCD side throughout the whole work shift um, because it's the only way that I can get through the day and I find it helps and it was a lot better than my shift on Saturday to be honest when I was running shift so it was a successful running shift which is good so it's now 20 to 10 I have just set up my laptop and I am going to edit my Castle Point book haul, which is going to be um, my last purchase book haul anyway, because I'm going to be doing this 10 to 1 book diet where I read 10 books in order to purchase a book. So I'm going to bring out my little book tokens again, where I put them in a cup and when I gather like five, then I can at least go to Waterstones or I can get them all on Amazon sort of it's like a little reward thing but I'm using them as tokens but because Amazon's delivery in order to get free delivery I think you've got to spend like 20 or 25 quid I can't really remember I feel like they've upped it so yeah and I'm refusing to get an Amazon Prime because once again Amazon Prime that's where my money goes like with books and as I'm on a ban no no so I'm stopping these habits so I'm going to be really good in February definitely because I own way too many books guys literally like I'm not joking probably nearly 2,000 books which is stupid when you think about it it's really stupid I probably own the most books on booktube it's crazy so yeah and to be honest all these books I bought at one point when they were new releases and yeah it's just it's silly really so yeah I'm going to edit this video once I edit it, it shouldn't take too long because book hauls don't take me long and videos in general don't normally take me too long to edit so I'll edit this video um, and let it sort of render into a file and then upload to YouTube which it does automatically in the video editing software that I've got 
and then I am going to probably watch a couple of booktube videos just to sort of catch up during the day. It helps me to de-stress and relax and then I'm going to settle down and read some more of Sweet Thing. Now tomorrow I don't start working until 2 so I'm not entirely sure if I'm going to be productive before 2 or if I want to simply just lay down and relax and get a bit of reading done. I'm not entirely sure how tomorrow's going to go but I know that tonight I want to do a little bit of reading. I want to at least sit down and read for like half an hour or an hour or something like I I really enjoy it when I actually focus on reading and that's how I did with finishing a Houdini so that's how I'm going to do it so I'm just going to say goodbye to you from Tuesday and I will speak to you guys tomorrow before work letting you guys know if I managed to get any reading done hey guys so today is Friday um I have been quite ill the past couple of days Yesterday, my cold had sort of moved to my chest, so I had a little bit of asthma, I suppose, in my chest. So it was really hard having to go out into the cold air outside. It made it really hurt a lot um, when breathing deeply and that sort of thing. And just when doing like the little list of jobs, I was getting out of breath. Um, ben reckons I have a chest infection. However, I had to go to the dentist because I've got an infection in my gum where a wisdom tooth is coming through. So luckily my dentist prescribed me some antibiotics um, and as it's amoxicillin, it should, if I do have a chest infection, clear that as well. So I'm on day number two of the antibiotics and I'm feeling a lot better. Um, again, I took work off. Um, it's It's been tough really because I seem almost fine but you know midnight I was in so much pain in my chest and I was like I can't work like this so I've got the weekend off anyway because it's my weekend off I'm back in on Monday so I'm hoping to jump back in to work on Monday fresh start and then throughout the month of February I'll just pick up some shifts to make up for when I'm sick and that it's been awful like the whole month of January has just been horrible it's not been a great start with my health so far this year so I have been suffering with my immune system so because of that I haven't really done as much reading as I was like to. I've kind of watched a lot of booty videos though so that's been quite good. Um, so I did start Sweet Thing by Rene Carlino. I'm now currently on page 58 of this book um, and I'm just in the mood to lay down and read. I'm probably going to have a little bit of an early night tonight as well because I'm feeling very exhausted. I think that's probably because of like all of the drugs I've been taking, like cold food tablets, paracetamol, the, pe the amoxicillin and all that. Like it's dragging me down. Um, so I'm going to see how I am for this weekend and see if I can get some reading done. It would be good for me to start February off very good. February is my birthday month as well. My birthday is on the 18th, so I'm very, very much excited um, for that. Although I'm going to be 28, so it's not really that much of an exciting age. In fact, I'm feeling like I'm getting older and older and not getting any further in life. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just going to end this part of the vlog by letting you guys know that's what I've been up to, really, and that's what I'm going to go and read. Hey guys, it's Katie and today I'm here to wrap up the week of reading that happened last week. I didn't do a vlog for a couple of days so I'm sorry about that. I was at Ben's at the weekend, the Rugby Six Nations was on and um, like we watched a couple of that. I'm not really a rugby person but considering Ben fell asleep during the match that he really wanted to watch I felt like I had to watch the match so that I can fill him in on everything that happened. It's a good thing I did really. It wasn't boring anyway. Um, so I managed to get a little bit of reading done. In fact I managed to finish Sweet Thing by Rene Colino which is the book that I was <laughs> reading and then I went on to City of Ashes by Cassandra Clare which is book number two in the Mortal Instruments series and I am currently on as this moment on page 48 I believe Dane is on that well he said he was on page 170 yesterday so I'm not entirely sure if he's managed to read anymore but that's what I'm kind of reading that's what I'm going to be reading more 
of. Um, so yeah, that really ends my wrap up that I managed to complete a book. So the first book that's completed in February and I'm starting my second, which is a reread. Um, so yeah, that's all that's happened really for the week of reading so do let me know down below have you done with your reading for last week what did you read did you manage to finish anything or were you too busy it doesn't really matter as long as you read anything in life like reading as a hobby that's that's all that matters so yes that's all for this video give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it thank you very much for watching my video as always keep smiling keep reading and be happy my name is katie and i'll see all of you wonderful awesome people in my next video bye